Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, we're going to be looking at making exact copies of angles. The first method is relatively simple. You get yourself a piece of tracing paper. Now, I don't have tracing paper, I just have regular paper. However, because I drew my lines dark enough, you can see it through here. Now, as I've taught my students, there should be no freehand drawing. So, what we'll do is we'll create a point at each of the locations of the endpoints of the line segments. Take our straight edge and connect the dots. That was off a little bit. And I should have created an exact copy of that angle. That's the first method. The second method we're going to be learning is using our compass. In this case, we're going to try and make an exact copy of the existing angle. The first thing we're going to need to do is select one of the two arms, whichever one you'd like, measure its length. Oops, I'm using inches. I would prefer not to. There we are. Okay, no, I was wrong. I was actually using the correct one. I want to go to there. 6.8. I'll make a line. Here's the next step. I take my tool. And I make it the exact length. be as accurate as I can be, the exact length, oops, too big, yeah, that's what I want, and I will go over here and I will draw an arc. Now, take the same tool, I'm going to move it over here. From the other point, again, as exact as you can be, from here, right there, X marks the spot, I'll connect those two points, in order to create a copy of the existing angle. The third method we're going to look at today involves this tool. This is called a mirror. In later lessons, we're going to be looking at uh, the challenge of what to do with this beveled, as you can see, that part of it is beveled here. But for this lesson, that's not that big a deal. What I'm going to do so I'm going to place my mirror, and it can be just about anywhere, but I'm going to place my mirror here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking in this side. But as I look in this side, there will be a reflected image. I don't know if I can show this to you in the camera. Oh, there. See? See that reflected image that's appearing? There will be a reflected image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in the mirror, and I'm going to put dots. in the reflected image, once again, using my straight edge, connect the dots. And there you have a third technique for making an exact copy.